Design Shop has a lot of zoom tools to allow you to get into and out of your design a little bit more easily. Let's take a look and see how those work. So the zoom tools that I'm talking about to start uh, are going to be these magnifying glasses that are kind of up here. And then we'll talk about the zoom bar that's down here. Let's look at the zoom bar to start. The first one I want to look at is actually the second one on the bar, and that's the little magnifying glass with just a plus in it. And every time I click on that, it will zoom in to the center of the screen. The next one over is zoom out. And if you don't remember what these do, hover over one of the icons and a tooltip will pop up. Zoom out zooms out from the center of the screen. Next one over is a little one to one. That's actual size. If I click on that, it will go to actual size on screen. Now this is going to be a relatively close approximation, but that's also going to depend on your monitor size and your resolution settings. So keep that in mind as you're working on it. All right, the next one over is fit window. Uh, this one's great because if your design is really, really huge and you wanna see the whole thing, you can click on it and it will zoom. Uh, if it's smaller, it will zoom so that the whole thing fills the screen. So either way, you've got the whole design in your window as best as it can fit. The last one over here is zoom previous, which will go between the last two zoom states. And I've skipped over these two grayed out ones and the first one. So let's go back to this first one. This one's graphical zoom in. If I click on this, it becomes a tool. It doesn't happen just as I click. But now if I bring my cursor over my workspace, you'll see that it has a little plus inside of it. And if I click and drag a box, it will zoom to that box as soon as I let go. And then the tool deselects. One kind of caveat I want to give with this is uh, if you're working on it and you stutter on the mouse, you may end up zooming in 5,000% on a little bitty white space. If that happens, don't panic. A lot of people would go to undo. Um, undo has no effect on zoom level at all. So if you get into a problem with a zoom tool, get out of it with a zoom tool. In this case, I'm either going to fit window or zoom previous. You could also go over to the navigator and see, oh, that little red box is where I'm zoomed into. Um, but I'm just going to hit fit window to get out of that. So again, if you get into a problem with a zoom tool, get out of it with a zoom tool. And then the next one over is fit selection, and it is currently grayed out because I don't have anything selected. But if I were to come here and select the pair, as soon as I select it, that becomes available. If I click on it, it will zoom straight to that pair. And then the other thing, uh, the other tool that you can use is the next one over, which I'm trying to find a really good example of why and when you would do it. Um, so I currently have a little piece of a leaf selected, and I just went through the project view and grabbed one. Um, you might see this as a, a piece that you don't know where it is or what it's doing. If you have it selected in the project view and it's not on screen but you want it to be, you, you don't want to have to hunt for it, when it's selected you can click on the next one over which is center selection. It doesn't actually change the zoom level but it will change where the screen is focused and it will center whatever you have selected onto that view window. So you've got all of those options in the zoom bar up here. You also have this bit of the zoom bar down here where you can click on this drop down. In this case, it's dropping up and you can select a different zoom level. So you can go fit selection, fit design, or 100%, 200%, whatever you want. Or you could double click in here, type whatever zoom level you want, or scroll on the scroll wheel of your mouse to change all of that. So let's go back to 100%. I'm gonna hit enter. It zoomed out, and now I've got that. So you've got the icons that you can zoom with. You've got the bar down on the bottom that you can zoom with. You also have another tool available to you, and that's the scroll wheel of the mouse. Now, if I hold Shift and scroll on the scroll wheel of the mouse, I can scroll into the cursor. So wherever I have that cursor, I can scroll into or away from. If I hold Alt, so I'll move my cursor way over here. If I hold Alt, 
it will zoom to the center of the screen. So my cursor has absolutely nothing to do with it. So hold Alt, scroll on the scroll wheel of my mouse. I zoom to the center of the screen or away from the center of the screen. If I hold Shift, we'll go straight to the little point of the leaf, eh, this leaf. If I hold Shift, it will zoom in straight to the point of wherever my cursor is pointing and away from there. And then the other, it isn't a zoom, I'll call it a pan. Um, if you scroll on the scroll wheel without holding anything, it will pan up and down. Um, if I hold control and scroll, it will pan left and right. So you've got the icons, you've got the little zoom bar on the bottom, and then you've got the scroll wheel on your mouse. So you have a lot of different ways to navigate through your workspace and get in tight to see what it is you need to see when you're editing your designs.